Oh my gosh, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. So there's this guy who moves from his home to a new home, but runs away to get, get back to his old home. And there's this lady, who looks like one of my burrito nightmares, who is chasing after him. And then all the puppets join the chase. And Bert and Ernie are flying, and Grover is flying, and Oscar is flying boot on the ground. And Cookie Monster ate his car because he thought it was a cookie. I thought my car was a cookie once, but it wasn't a cookie, or a cart. It was man. So these guys find Big Bird, and are like, hey, let's paint him blue for some reason and parade him around like he's an animal. And he is an animal, so technically it's legal. Then Big Bird's friends find him and like, hurry. Then they're like, oh, crud. So when Car is chasing the bad car and they're like, jump. And he's like, no. And they're like, jump. And he's like, no. And they're like, jump. And he's like, okay. So the bad guy is get arrested by Officer John Candy, and the gang goes back to Sesame Street. And the bird lady is like, I have to take you back to your home now. And the people are like, dude, what is your deal? This is his home. Go back to Russia. So the moral of the story is that it doesn't matter where you are. It would all depends on where you live. I live in a box, so life is horrible. I am Chester Abum saying, change. You got change. Oh, come on. Can't someone at least tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Nobody seems to know.